All right, folks. Welcome back to the, uh, the, uh, the Taylor Burke show to the show series here on MLB, MLB 23 PS5 episode 387. A win in the last one against the Twins. Uh, we did give up one. Bullpen, bullpen gave up another. Uh, but we do hold on overall. Get the win. And we are two and a half up on Houston. They're coming back. So need some wins here today. Good Toronto team. And then we face a bad Minnesota team. But they just beat us in a series. So we'll see how it goes. We do get the win there. In 11. Beautiful. Probably a walk off from either Julio or J Rod. Uh, and then we lose 6 7. Do we blow it? No, I didn't blow it. Well, we actually did, but never mind. Um, can we win the series versus Joe Rock? Go with the control. Yes, we can. We win that one 7 to 6. And. Uh, Bobby Turner, J-Rod continues to hit well. Good job, Julio. And then uh, we've got two more this episode. We're up three and a half now. Need this win. No, we lose eight nothing. Goodness, man. Yeah, Chance got absolutely shelled. Well, we are going to face Nate Pearson here today, trying to go get a three and two episode going. Um, let's do it. So just about set now, and today's starting pitcher, Nate Pearson. But Chris, he hasn't exactly been stellar here on his home mound. Well, I'll say this, every player wants to perform well. All right. for the Twins, Fernando Corona. We are missing Gunner for sure. The best bat in our lineup just is still edge. on the IL. The reigning Cy Young Award winner, he features a two-seam fastball, a change-up, a slider, a curve, and occasionally uses a cutter. Next nope. one misses two and one. Two balls, one strike. And that one is That's a strike, dude. Oh my gosh. Bad start. The wind really the bad start. There's a strike. Good oh, zip on that fastball at the bottom of the zone. If he's there all day, it's gonna be a tough one for the hitters. Just beat him upstairs. Or throw ball four. Oh, looking for a swing and miss right there, or for the ump to help him out and make the call with that last pitch, but neither happened. Close pitch, but a good take to earn that walk. Well, that's a hot start. Deep left field and this call walked him in a hand change up. It's two. His 14th of the year. It's two nothing. Well. Alex Arojo will hit next. And he swings okay. and misses oh, at the initial. Two nothing. Offer. Twins. That's that's run, tough. But nobody on, nobody out. You just have to treat it as a fresh inning. And that one fouled off. So Alex Arojo. Towards first. We do get it out here. That was a bad pitch as well. It's a good recovery though after giving up the home run, not allowing it to stay in the head, but going to work at the next hitter and a tough one at that. Tobias Sexton stands in now and watches strike one. Gets the call. Then we get that call. Now it's a little late for that blue. Got him swinging. Well, that slider down and away, it's just kind of a slow death. With two strikes, you're looking to protect, and halfway to the plate, you know you're committed, and you know you're going to have no chance of touching it. Tell you what, sometimes you just have to tip the Kind of missing spots pretty bad. Swing and a miss. That is strike two. And that's a strikeout looking. You give up a two-run shot. Bobby gets one of those back. All right, that's a good start. Yeah, I don't want to get this loss, man. I'll be honest with you. I really don't want to get a loss here today against the freaking Twins. And a swing and a miss there. I think he was sitting off speed there. Anthony Volpe hit that home run. Pitch. Oh, two. 
farts. Ball, it stays nothing in two. The idea was right. Looking to locate that fastball up and in. He just missed his spot a little bit. That one, one ball, misses. It's a ball and two strikes. Yes, he did. God, dude. Appeal down to third. No swing. Now all leave it up. Okay, dude, just hit the ball. Like, just hit it fair. No one has time for all this. Bad freaking pulse. That's a strike, you blind bat. Holy cow, what is wrong with this guy? It's another foul ball. Thank you, Blue. Keep on. Keep on doing it. He walks. Can you tell me whose fault that is? It's not mine. Come on, game. Dang, and Taylor can't throw strikes to save his life right now. Dude. Strike out. This is dreadful. He's going. He's probably got it. Get out, loser. Guess what? He didn't swing. See if we miss another call. No, it's a ground ball. Wow, Bobby, that was a great play. Dude. Thank you. I can't. Two outs. Can't do it right now, man. And one and two. This strong second one inning ball. is a confidence two builder strike. for him, a relief for his Get manager. out of here. Doesn't have to get into that bullpen quite as early. Fouls it back with two strikes. Righty delivers. Ball. And a ball evens the count. Two ball. Two strikes. It's about to be a 40 pitch, two innings. <laughs> Thank Got it you. by him for the K. No runs, Goodness, no man. Bryce and Stott, two double plays on the net. Now it's the second baseman, Quincy McAfee. Swung on, belted. Bangs off the wall. It's a single. Wow. With that fastball, even though it's high velocity, freaking Quincy McAfee. That's ridiculous. Right on a tee, right down the middle. Professional hitters are not going to have a problem turning it around. The kick and the pitch. Runner goes. Ball misses. Throw to second. Joey Bart's playing great baseball. Successful stolen base attempts tonight. So I think this is where we probably see them change up their plan offensively. The running game just isn't working, and those are costly out. So they're going to have to string together some hits and change things up a little bit. Thank you, Joey Bart, for getting a couple outs tonight when we needed it. Because golly, Taylor can't strike anybody out. Without throwing 30 pitches. Thank Swing you. Goodbye. Him out. Slider got him for strike three. Two outs, base is empty. So up next for Minnesota, Anthony Volpe. I suck. And the pitch is outside, ball one. Volpe, multi-time all-star, batting second in today's lineup. A former first round. Deep drive down the line. Now ball. What is going on with Anthony Volpe? Distance. Okay. Just too much hook to it, so I want to make a little bit of an adjustment. Let it travel a little more and see if you can keep that thing fair. One, two, now. Swing, dude. Swing the bat. It wasn't in the cards for me to throw seventy pitches in four innings. Two, two on the way. My gosh, how did you touch that? Well, he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create Thank just you. a little bit of illusion. We're out of the third. Hey, under it. Go score. Drops Come on. The glove, and that is that. Three, three, 
back here at the ballpark, ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now the first baseman, Alex Arojo. Hey. And that's through there for a strike. Oh well, these twins do a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. Oh, oh my gosh. Very patient at bats out of them. They're doing a good job. Oh, what's of working wrong with pitch Taylor? Count, and they've been able to push a couple of runs across to score as well. Shoot. The punch out there, and there's one down. So here's the cleanup hitter, Tobias Sexton. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Still relatively early, but with the pair of runs already on the board, the ripple effect of that high Ball pitch one. count might set him up to do more one damage one. later in this game. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Right-hander kicks, deals. Battling here as he fouls it away. and misses it's a strikeout that's a pretty nasty pitch right there I call it a power curveball in the 80s it's got so much spin on it and you really don't have a lot of time to sit back and watch what it's going to do before you have to commit it was a good one for the swinging strikeout that's in there oh a two down go get it go get it thank you great inning for Taylor come on score it's Nate Pearson, guys. He sucks. We know that because he used to pitch with us. Clips the corner. Well, you got to give him credit out there on the mound. This outing started off a little shaky, but he's found a way to settle in and turn this into a pretty good start. Kind of shows you a lot about his mental makeup as a pitcher. The wind of the pitch. And a seed in the center. That's a base hit. He was all over that one. Really nice job staying inside with his hands to fight off that pitch. Man, that cutter was bearing in on him. But he found a way to stay with his approach. Didn't spin off it, and he hit it pretty well. And a swing and a miss. No, he's really working that inside corner with the cutter. I tell you what, I hated that pitch. So tough to get the barrel to and to keep it fair. Runner at first with no outs here. That one Dude. Misses. I hate you, umpire. You're so. Stand back. You're so full of it. That is, that is three times somebody should have been rung up. And you're making us throw more pitches. At the end of the day, you're very much hurting us. Because you can't make the right effing call, dude. Ball three. Joey Bart's on fire. He's throwing three runners out today. I really didn't expect him to try to steal second base because he had a very standard lead at best. If you're going to try to get there safely, dude, strike out or hit the ball and play, please. That was the difference between being safe. I have thrown so many pitches this stupid game. Then you just go gap. Fine. Can we blame this one on the umpire again? Yep. And, and I will. You suck. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of this struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. And first offering is fouled off. One out and a runner at second. Next offering is in for a strike. He's clearly out there throwing pitchers' pitches in this situation. First base is open. He walks him. No big deal. This is so frustrating. Swings Thank you. through it, and that's a strikeout. We're gonna take a look at the pitch sequence of that at bat, and the thing to notice are the pitch locations. Every single one of them on nope. the edges oh. of the strike zone, and as a hitter, that can be pretty frustrating because you don't expect the pitcher to be able to make quality pitches one after another like that. And so those are tough spots to do damage in a great demonstration of pitch command. And it got Dude, a out. piss it. off. You are so bad. Stands at oh, my gosh. Ball. He's so bad. <laughs> two and two now. That's a hit. That's a run. 
What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you, dude? And then they get a blue pit. There's loss number one on the year because this offense sucks for us. Comes up empty on the swing, 0 and 2 now. Outside. The guy at the plate could recognize slider out of the hand. Didn't stay in the tunnel very long in terms of Dude, Oh my gosh, strike, strike out, fly out. I do not care. Get out. Like, please stop fouling the ball off. Thank you. That works. Gosh. Another double play ruins any chance we have of scoring. Of course it does. Off the mark there. And that's ball one. Ball one, no strike. No outs now. There's a strike. The one one. Foul ball. Hit your pulse. Swing Thank you for not hitting the ball foul, Anthony. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. Just needs to let the ball travel a little more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. Ground ball up the middle. Stott over to first in time. Two up, two down. Two outs, base is empty. Now the Minnesota cleanup hitter, Tobias Sexton. And that's in there for strike one. Sexton, 24 <laughs> years old. And he's been wearing it <coughs> lately. He scored 10 times in the last 10 games. The wind of the pitch. Bad day for Taylor. Line to second, snagged on the bounce. Bad day is three runs and six It's really not that bad. We got to have something come through here on the offensive side. There we go. Placencia tied it up. Let's go. Stott. Oh, freaking Pete. Beautiful. Beautiful. 7-3. to three. I love it. We're in line for the win. Thank you, offense, so much. Like, actually, I needed that. Murray Pitt. Locked down. It's a dub for the Mariners. We get our 15th, 20 years, six innings, five hits, two walks, three earned, and nine Ks. Through 98 freaking pitches, but we did get there. And we have done it. Nice. That was a rough episode. Umpire hated us. But we do get the win. We're three and three and a half above the Strohs, six above the Athletics. So, well, did we trade for anybody? No. If you like the video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. That's Taylor Brooks, episode 387 in the books.